Welcome to the city of Ghent, home to thousands of students and our Enactus Ghent team. We are a group of students connected through our mutual passion for purpose. The different backgrounds and innovative mindsets of our members really bring a unique perspective to our projects. We've already proven the will to create a positive impact for people and planet with Saver. And it is with great excitement that we present to you the next chapter in our team's journey. More than 2.25 billion cups of coffee are drunk every day by people all over the world. With an estimated average of 11 grams of fresh ground coffee going into each cup, a staggering 9 million tons of coffee is brewed every year. Consequently, this will also result in about 18 million tons of wet waste coffee grounds. In Belgium, our yearly total is 100 million kilograms. This is a total of more than 7,500 garbage trucks. These spent grounds are usually dumped together with general waste and end up in landfills or incinerated, which emit greenhouse gases. These emissions have deteriorating effects on a global scale. To produce one kilogram of coffee beans takes almost 20,000 liters of water and after harvesting they are transported all the way from South America to here. You can imagine the heavy toll coffee production takes on the environment. But coffee is also a beautiful product. Drinking a cup brings warmth, comfort and hope. It's part of our culture. There still hides a huge potential in the coffee grounds we throw away. Our team considered how we can give these grounds a second life and suddenly they came a spark. But first things first. In order to save the grounds, we need to collect and process them. Not an easy task. Luckily, we found a partner in Close. This is a bio-innovation agency and their newest project, Café Circulaire, aims to recover as much spent coffee as possible. Their network provides us with more grounds than we can possibly handle. Coffee bars, hotels, offices, they all chip in. To make something useful out of it, the grounds need some processing. First is a drying step in order to remove the moisture. Next, a press is used to separate the oils and the dry press material. The dry leftovers will be used as plate material and soil improver. The oils will be provided to innovative startups like us. Our team brainstormed about what to do with this high quality coffee oil. And after some creative thinking, we came up with a heartwarming product. By producing scented candles, your cup of coffee doesn't bring comfort once, but twice. First time when you're drinking it, and the second time when you're lighting the candle. Unlike candles you buy in the store, our candles will have a natural and strong scent instead of an artificial one. We collect our cups from donors, giveaway shops and second-hand stores. And our target cup is the undesired type. Cups that are ugly, alone, uh, cups with a print that's a bit outdated and no longer trendy. Another great aspect of this idea is that candle making is quite easy. Simply melt the wax, add the scent, pour it in the cup and you're all set. This allows us to produce the candles ourselves or to outsource it. When choosing the ingredients for a candle, we looked for the most sustainable options. The wax, for example, could be petrol-based, plant-based like soy or rapeseed, or made from bee wax. After comparing these three options based on their ecological footprint, rapeseed came out as the winner. It sounds like fun to pour these candles into coffee cups that people no longer use. But what started as a joke turned out to contain a lot of potential impact. We already collected a broad range of cups and noticed that some of them are still pretty in their current state, while others are in dire need of a touch-up. And who's more suitable for this than local young artists? 
The cooperation with young artists is a win-win situation. They provide us with beautiful designs that make our cups attractive again. In return, they of course get paid for their effort and skills. We will devote a large share of our branding and packaging to put the artists in the spotlight. Hopefully, this way, the artists get in touch with an audience that likes their art and maybe even potential investors. It is simple. If you like the cup, you like the art. Every cup is unique, so no two candles will be the same. This kind of diversity in products makes sure that there is something for everyone. So, to recap our project. We upcycle spent coffee grounds and use the oils to make scented candles. We save coffee cups from being thrown away and help young aspiring artists to find their audience. With this project we contribute to four sustainable development goals like sustainable communities, responsible consumption, climate action and partnerships. What is our current status? Our team made a beautiful logo and our name truly reflects our spirit. Vonk or a spark in English, is what we want this project to be. We've already collected half our target amount of cups and are experimenting with candle making and decomposition. The fact that we work with waste streams and collected cups keeps our cost of resources quite low. Ingredients like wax and wigs are relatively cheap. We expect our main expenses to be the packaging which will be unique for our products and the material for the artists. Providing these artists with an extra income while spreading their artwork through our channels is our main social impact. The reward we give them for their work should be high enough and will also take up a substantial part of the revenues. The next few months will be our pilot phase will produce our first 150 cups and sell these through a web shop. This trial is a proof of concept and will provide us with feedback for our bigger projects later in the year. Our points of sale will mainly be our own web shop and smaller gift shops to start with. Upscaling will also include selling through coffee bars, florists, mood shops, hotel gift shops and so on. We can create affiliation with selling points if their coffee grounds are used to produce the oil, giving another unique aspect to this product. With the season of candles in sight, we want to increase the production and expand our points of sale by Christmas. Another goal for the near future is setting up a movement for the warmest week. This is a week filled with charity work and our goal is to sell a unique line of candles. The profit will then go to an organization that supports small coffee farmers. But since the sky is the limit, we have a ton of ideas to further upscale our project and impact. Setting up a deposit point for old candles could be a new source of wax and would increase our positive impact on the environment even more. Using other waste streams like tea bags, orange peels could add new scents to our range of products in a sustainably sourced way. Increasing the amount of candles will also increase our support to artists. The more cups, the more work for them. But it should remain manageable, so a cup press where we could print the design onto the cup could make a great investment in the near future. Once our candle production exceeds our team's limit, will have to outsource the production and therefore create employment for those in need. And why limit ourselves to pouring candles in coffee cups? A cut open wine bottle would make a perfect alternative and prevents them from being wasted. We hope you feel inspired by this project. Our candle is an example of how something so simple can have a huge impact. Each of its components has had a life before and now it has a new purpose. Our candle is a symbol. It shows that being thrown out as waste should not mean the end. There's always potential if you allow yourself to see it. We believe that it will bring warmth to those who light it. Vonk will make our world a bit brighter. One candle at a time.
Besides Funk, our other project Saveur also had a great year. Saveur aims to raise awareness around the environmental impact of soft drink industry. Knowing that only 15% of a bottle is the actual flavor and the rest is just tap water being packaged and transported makes no sense. Why not adding the tap water later? By producing a high quality and organic cordial, we want to convince buyers that sustainable can be delicious. Besides the pandemic, we were able to sell 700 liters of cordial. This resulted in 5,000 liters of finished lemonade and this also means that we avoided 5,000 bottles of tap water being packaged and transported. Thanks to Saveur, making home lemonade was never more easy. Enjoy!